بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله so I'll touch briefly on the the concept of affinity group or I'll, I'll simplify it an employee affinity group employee support group uh, employee resource group um, how many how many before we dive into that how many of you have, uh, of the audience have actually submitted a cold application an application to a job that you don't know anyone at that company just cold application almost all of us how many actually got a response other than an automated response thank you for applying blah, blah, blah. how many actually got a, a response raise of hands okay it's not bad mashallah so you're you're, you're qualified um, back in the 90s applying was not necessarily online you actually had to mail in resumes and things like that not to not to bring back memories but um, it's, it's, it's still extremely challenging, even though it's super easy. It's a couple of clicks on LinkedIn now to apply for a job. It's super hard to actually get in. It's super hard to get beyond a recruiter and talk to someone actually who is the, close to the position that you're talking to. Recruiters are becoming more and more informed. But how many, raise of hands, how many of you actually applied to a job that was a referral that somebody referred you in? Anyone willing to share how different was that from a cold application? Okay. Alhamdulillah. So, you know, there, there's a saying that it, it's all about who you know. Some, some people take that saying in a negative fashion. No, no, you know what? It's all about who you know. The, you know they won't hire people other than their, their own network. But look at the positive side of it. Um, how many folks in this room have actually hired someone, uh, hired either a contractor or an employee or even a service for, for your own house or something? Just raise a hand. If you had two candidates, one of them that you knew or you knew of, or somebody referred them to you and said, oh, I know this person, he, you know, he does blah, 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 he's a good engineer, he's a good doctor, versus someone who you have no clue who they are. It's only natural that you're gonna be, uh, uh, right away, you're gonna prioritize that person, well, it's less risk, right? I, I don't know, I'm, I'm taking a chance on this one. It's the same concept. So imagine now if you have actually access to people that you, before you apply to a company, you know people at that company. Before you go through the recruiting, you're gonna contact the person that you have. So these are just some of the benefits of what we're talking about. The, you know, the, the down the road of an employee, re, you know, network, of the larger network. It's all about the network, expanding the power of, we have, we have a lot of Muslim professionals in this country. We are, we are way behind on getting them networked together. Um, I have many, many, beloved brothers and sisters, and you know, Mustafa, Mustafa here from our community. We were in the community together for years until I found out that we are almost 80, 90% doing this, the exact same job for two different companies. It's a, the, what, the example that he said, you don't know the person that's praying next to you, what do they do? We, are, we don't connect, uh, we don't take our social network and actually leverage it for, for our professional network. Um, the challenge is that of not having a, uh, a support group at your company. Um, the stories of back in the 90s or earlier in the 2000s of trying to find the corner to pray at work, uh, especially during winter when, you know, Dhuhr, Asr, Maghrib is all packed into three, three hours in between meetings and so forth. Alhamdulillah, a lot of companies nowadays, by the way, this is still a reality for many companies. Uh, I don't know if, if, if any of you, if this is still a reality in, in your company. Um, Many companies have now quiet rooms or reflection rooms or prayer rooms dedicated with a prayer rug, with a, a direction of Qibla. So I, I wanna talk a little bit about the benefits of, um, uh, uh, three key benefits of employee resource group, employee support groups or affinity groups. Number one, it's awareness. It's your identity. It's people getting to know you. It's people are afraid of the unknown. People don't like people who don't know, oh, what do they do in that room? Why do they go, you know, at the Dhuhr time or so forth? Oh, especially if they pray in Jama'ah. Oh my gosh, it, it's, now it's scary. So getting to know, getting, telling your own story, actually going, at, writing a, a post on your company's portal, you know, Ramadan is coming, these are the, here's what we do in Ramadan, here's what we don't do in Ramadan. 
That awareness is 80% of, of the battle. It breaks barrier. People will come to you and say, oh, I didn't know that. You, is it okay for me to schedule a meeting? People are going to be a lot more um, uh, understanding if they actually know that you're going through this. This employee support group, you're not on your own. You're, you're going to be surprised how many Muslims are actually at your company or how many allies of Muslim people who are super accommodating at your company. So awareness, knowing your holidays, knowing your needs, knowing your food preferences. How many corporate outings have you been to where you couldn't touch 80, 90 percent of the food, not to mention the drinks that are there? Um, etiquettes, red lines, things that you can or can't do. At a minimum, this gives you a platform to communicate that out, to, to get the word out. Um, support, support for other Muslims who are new to the company, people who are trying to get to the company, qualified candidates who are trying to get, but they don't know how. You can be that vehicle. You can actually open doors for people through your company. You know of a position, post it, share it with the network, reach out. The person that's praying next to you could be someone who's out of a job for three months and trying to get into a job that your company is dying to hire somebody. It, it is, it is a, a, a help. So awareness, support, uh, support for new Muslim challenges. You could be a leader at your company and you can actually help people understand how to navigate the, 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 the various career paths at, at your company. You could be someone, a, a junior resource by connecting to managers and, and leaders within your company. You could not only benefit yourself, but also benefit others. And last but not least, you're actually helping your company. And many of us don't realize that. I actually found that out from, our, uh, from the company that I work for, that the company was super appreciative because for them, this is creating a better place, a place that employees are more comfortable with. You're not as stressed trying to sneak out and go to pray or to say, no, no, I can't do this. Or no, you know, that meeting time is at iftar time during Ramadan because now it became part of the culture. They know that we have 30, 40% of this office's employees are Muslims. So it is, the, it's not just a nice to have, it's a lot of benefits for the collective Muslim community and for your own company. So that, that, the, those are some of the why, why should you do it. Um, my second point is that it starts with you. We talked about, it's all about the network, it's all about the collective, but the, connect, the network is none but a, a, a group of individuals. It starts with you. If you are part of a company that already has an existing group, grow it, nurture it, connect with other uh, networks, learn what they're doing. Um, Muhammad talked about a playbook that we're trying to, or a blueprint for what good uh, employee support group, affinity group should look like. These are some of the things that you should be promote and, and try to establish within your company. If you don't have a support group, connect with others that will, will help you establish one. Uh, your HR uh, culture, uh, uh, chief culture officer, chief HR officer would love to actually hear from you. You'll be surprised. They don't look at it as your complaint, you're complaining. They're looking at it as you're actually trying to make, uh, make this a better place for you. Um, because then chances are it's less, uh, it's less of a chance that they're going to lose you because you, now you, you you like the way you like the environment that you've. Chances are people stay at roles that they are making less sometimes because they are more comfortable than than if they are comfortable they're okay staying at a job uh, even if they're offered a little bit more. Why? Because I like the people that I work with. I'm comfortable. It's not stressful. Um, so if you don't have one, establish one. If you have one, grow it. If you are part of a mature uh, established employee resource group, spread the word. Talk to others about what is it that you're doing, you know, what's successful at, at your company. SubhanAllah, we had, at our company, we have uh, a little bit over 25 managing directors, partners, all, it's called the Muslim tribe. These, this is not to talk about the community. These are just partners at the firm. Alhamdulillah. So it's a blessing and each one of them had a, a tag a responsibility of actually going to reaching out to others and mentoring them and saying, here's path to path to leadership. Here's what you can do to actually make it at the firm. Um, so those are some of the action items. It starts with you. If you don't have a group at your company, reach out and, st and, and start one up. If you are part of one, 
try to drive, improve it, reach out, connect with other companies. Um, reach out to other similar size companies. We had, uh, subhanAllah, uh, during the, the, the recent attacks earlier on Gaza in, uh, this year, we ended up offline connecting with different large companies within Apple, Microsoft, um, Google, and, uh, and Accenture, connecting on what, how do you leverage this platform? It's a responsibility. You have a platform to actually voice out your concerns. Uh, and how do you, so during events like that, you can put position statements on behalf of the employees. And, and we had a, a town hall, we had people actually gathering and sharing their challenges and their concerns and what life has been for the past two weeks, waking up in the middle of the night, checking on your family. It's a lot of benefits, don't miss it. Um, and then last but not least, uh, you know, connect with the group, inshallah, register your name. We have an event, inshallah, tonight at 5.30 uh, for, for uh, getting, the, getting the group started and uh, more to come. I'll turn it back to Omar. Jazakum Allah khair.